Welcome to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy. My guest today went from the Highway Patrol in the Super Troopers films to putting out fires on the new show, Tacoma FD on True TV. Meow. They're here with me. <laughs> wow. Kevin cool. Heffernan and Steve Lemmy. Thanks for letting me like, have an opportunity to do that with Thanks you. Thanks for, for doing Good it. Good meow talk. Yeah. You tuck that meow Did right Did I do in it there. well? Yeah, but you have, you have nine more to go. Nine more. I'll yeah. try to see if I can sneak it in. Yeah. But I'll probably bust out laughing. <laughs> Has uh, that technique gotten you guys out of any parking tickets, by the way? Oh, yeah. Or speeding tickets? Tons. Yeah. 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 I get a lot of speeding tickets. A lot. Like, the cops, cops love that movie because they're the good guys in it. Yeah, and of so course. So now we've got to get out of jail free card. And uh, there was one uh, time recently we were going to th we were throwing the first pitch out at a Padres game. Okay. Um, and so we were going down there, and uh, I was a little late. And so uh, I was maybe speeding a little bit. And uh, about 10 miles from the stadium, I got pulled over by a cop. And he walked up to the car. He's like, where are you going so, in such a hurry? And I said, I got to go throw the first pitch out at the Padres game. That's a great excuse. Right? Yeah. And he's like, uh, and who are you that you throw out the first pitch at a Padres game? And I was like, well, I made a movie called Super Troopers. And when you do that, then that's, you know, you're just throwing that out. Just yeah. throwing it out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not a do you know who I am, yeah, but just, like a mm, just everyday laying it out there. Sure. You're answering his question. And so he walked away and he came back and he took his gloves off and he shook my hand and he said, can I give you an escort to the stadium? <gasps> and I was like, and I, I was like, I want to get away from the guy, you know? So I was like, nah, that's okay. I'm okay. I got it. He's like, great. Thank you. Good luck. And I drove off and I got to the stadium and as I was walking in, there was a local cop standing in front of the stadium. And I walked up and he goes, hey, glad you made it. And I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, we heard over the radio no. that uh, they stopped Farva from Super Troopers and we wanted to make sure you made it okay. <laughs> so I guess it went around the cop thing. Yeah. That, uh, that's, a really, that's a really good perk. Yeah. Yeah. Did you think that this might be a thing when you were making the movie? You're like, we just got ourselves out of all the tickets for the rest of our Not life. Not at all. No, no, we didn't. We had no idea. We just, it, was, it was a result of being pulled over so many times <laughs> in like, you know, uh, various states of clarity and like, being, you know, thinking like if those cops knew what was going on in this car, <laughs> they could have messed with us so many different ways. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and that really was the inspiration for where the movie came from. So you said you were going to throw out a first pitch, and you guys have thrown out the first pitch at a lot of different stadiums. When yeah. you yes. do it, yeah. do you go for funny or super serious? No, no. We, we want to drill that ball yeah, never right funny. into the glove. That's not the time to mess around. We're competing with each other to throw, to throw yeah. the best strike. So. We, we've, we've done it a lot. My favorite one was actually a minor league one at the Charlotte Knights. Yeah. Uh, we were at the Charlotte Knights and oh, all wow. day. They go crazy in the minor leagues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. All day long, Kevin was telling me, he's like, you're going to bounce it. You're going to bounce it all day long. He's talking about how he was going to drill it and I was going to bounce it. And finally, when it came time to it, he, he bounced it right in the dirt, and I threw mine right down wow. the middle. And, you know, and now he blames it on the catcher. He's wow. Been, yeah. Do you guys put stakes on this? Well, uh, we, we should, huh? We really should. Because sometimes what we'll do is they'll line us up. Like, we, whether there's like two of us or five of us, uh -huh. we five guys, they'll line us up across, five guys across, and you see who throws the first pitch. The best pitch, you know, okay. together. So. But you you haven't thrown the first pitch at Yankee Stadium, which no. is weird because you guys are Yankees fans. Huge why Yankees why fans. you bring that up? Like, what? why? Do, what do they have against you? I don't know. Are you rubbing it in? What's your problem? I'm just saying, <laughs> you're huge Yankees fans. We are. I so, know it. Believe I mean, me, we tried. You we, have PR. Do you, yeah. Does your PR team reach Can out? Can I tell to you a secret? We try. Please do. Yeah. We tried. We went to the Angels Yankees game a couple uh, last week. I think, last week in, yeah. uh, out here in Los Angeles, and we tried. They're the only team we actually actively they seek out. They said no? Well, they didn't. It was the Angels the who Angels said no. The Angels said no. Can That's you believe so that? That's bizarre. Wait, I, I think I might have a theory why. Because if you've thrown it out at the Dodgers game, they're yeah. very picky. And we okay. have. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you have shown your allegiance to the Dodgers. You know what? Here's what? So here's what happened when we were throwing it out at the Dodgers game. Do you remember this? Yeah. Uh, like then they were, I think... Oral Hershiser was interviewing us. He was, yeah. And I made a joke to the whole stadium uh, that I was uh, actually Fernando Valenzuela's illegitimate son. And, uh, <laughs> That's good. And I guess he was up there, like, calling the radio oh. game. For, okay. And radio, but, like, okay. uh, he was up there, like, shrugging. And <laughs> right. So maybe we've got a bad reputation. I mean, it could also be because in your movies you have beards, and the Yankees yeah. don't allow beards. So maybe mm -hmm. that's the reason. It's true. Fate, no facial hair on the Yankees, right? Well, you, you can have a certain mustache. You can have the mustache down here, which, which you know, cops have a, a, a regular. Regulation. We have the same. Cops yeah. have a regulation. They must have. It, it, they can't go below it the no. lip. The is that corner. a thing? Yeah. yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, they can't go below the lip. And they have an actual. Because otherwise they have like handlebars and stuff. You can't do that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. They have a the device. Goatee? No. No. And there's a device that you can put on the face. It's a mustache uh, grid. grid. Are you guys messing with me right no. now? No, we're not. They have a there device to measure a cop mustache. Yeah. You can't go below the, the corners. Thing. Right here. And firefighters now, too, we have found out because. 
uh, that's a fire hazard to have facial hair. So they can't have a certain length uh, mustache what? as well. That is the most fascinating thing I've learned all right? week. Yeah, yeah, thank right? you for that. It's a short that's, week. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. You know, though, I think, especially considering they won't let you throw out the first pitch, you guys should become Red Sox fans because oh. more Red Sox players have shown their allegiance to you. How dare you? Uh, but it's true, right? We were just talking about we were. Big right. Poppy. That was a secret. We told you a secret. I'm, yeah. Well, I'm going to air it out right now yeah. because I think you should become Red Sox fans. Well, it's true. Veritech. Yes. Yeah, Veritech is... Uh, and uh, Apparently the Veritech family are big fans of they, Tacoma They've FD. been tweeting about Tacoma FD, and yeah. we appreciate that. But that's uh, See, that is where peop, you know, the lines go away. That's yeah. when you become friends with people over what they... If they laugh at our stuff or not. That's yeah. I'm just saying the Yankees aren't really being supportive, are they? They aren't. No, they're not. They I aren't. think you should switch. No, I can't. And see how nice <laughs> everyone says Boston people are mean. Yeah. But like Red Sox fans to appreciate and support Yankees fans, that's a big deal. I guess so. It is a big deal. I think you should switch. You're what, thinking about it. What's your problem? You're really Christine. making a case What do you here? mean? I just, I feel like you guys should embrace the people who embrace you. No! Uh, Tim Wakefield was at the premiere of Super Troopers 2. And he and was, another Red Sox. Yeah. I know. And he was, he was so nice. very nice. Such a good guy. Very nice. You're making your own case here. I don't really need to <laughs> say much wonderful. more. I, I have one. Right. You know, but like, it's funny because with him, even like, he's, he's a professional athlete. He was a Red Sox at the time of one of the great... Yankees Red Sox yeah. rivalries and it was impossible to not just start giving him a hard time <laughs> right off the bat <laughs> and you know he was equally aggressive of course back towards me yeah and, you know, sure. like he talked about the you know the famous 3-0 comeback but you know yeah, 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 yeah. anyway anytime you want to switch over I'm sure they'd be very happy to have you can't do it are there any athletes that you would love to have that you haven't yet in your movies or in Tacoma FD God. Well, let's see. I got to have the entire 94 Rangers. But well, you got to find like the really funny guys, you know, like, like Messier is funny. The Manning brothers. Those guys they are, they do great. They're funny. Comedy yeah. stuff. They're really funny. That'd be great to have in a movie. They're really funny. 